Welcome back to the Seaboard Central, everyone, in the final part of the pond series that we started in this corner of the layout. Today, we're gonna to finish the scenery and add the water and details to this scene. So stay tuned so you can see the final product. In today's video, besides adding the water to the pond, we'll add some details, including some branches that fell down into the pond. And also we'll address this embankment. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Based off my reference photos, I need to add some color and texture to the sides of the embankment here. And to do that, I'm gonna add some pigments such as this uh, earth, medium earth from Monroe Models. And also these pan pastels. This one is uh, burnt sienna shade. This one is burnt sienna tint. And this one is raw umber. So to achieve that look, I'm gonna just use an old paintbrush and find areas where you can see the, the clay showing on the side of the bank. You can blend these pan pastels so you can tone tone colors down if it's if it's too stark. What I'm just looking for is some variation in it. Maybe try some of this medium earth. I'll continue to work on the bank. Now you can see the variation in color on the side of that embankment and just how much of a difference it made. Just adding that little bit of a color brings it to a whole nother level. Next thing we're gonna do is add some details to the scene. And for that, I've got some of this Deadfall by Woodland Scenics. And it just basically simulates dead branches. So we'll glue them to the scene and we'll show some of them that say it actually fell into the pond. So maybe we'll simulate a branch that fell down into the embankment like that. Maybe one larger simulates a tree that maybe fell down. Laying into the pond. Here's a another one that we can do. I'm just adding some glue, white glue. Simulates part of that tree. Just kind of figure out where it would naturally be. I've got this one where I've put this buck deer on it. Maybe the train has spooked it we'll put him somewhere in there like so also added a couple of deer back there one of them's bedded down and maybe one of them's getting a drink out of the pond so next up we've got some of these bushes from martin wilberg 
and they come in different colors. Here's like a spring green. They have like a, um, a moss green. And this one is like a, a hazy green is what they call it. But I really like the, the look, so, look of them. The texture is nice and they'll look good along the edge of the pond. So here's a small piece of them and you can see how they are. You, you can just tear them apart and use what you need. So let's find a place for them. Press them into the scene. Places where they would naturally, you'd figure they'd naturally be. Let's see where we'll put this last piece. Maybe we'll put them right there. They're growing together. That'll work. Another real cool product by Martin Wilberg are these tall bushes here. This is a medium green. You can get all this stuff at Scenic Express. That's, that's where I get a lot of my scenery items from. I'm just going to show them right here on the top side of this embankment. Add a little more glue to him so it'll stick. And you can push it down just to fit it into the scene. Try to make it look natural. Here's one that has some lavender on it. Add some color. So we'll put some of those in there. Maybe put a group of them right here. Just pull them apart. What a great texture this adds. Here's some more of this olive green. Add out another layer of color to it. I'm just kind of trying to group these together. Maybe we'll put some in this area. Also make the uh, smaller versions of them so to help see the pond some we'll, we'll put some of these smaller ones here on the front on here. Good. There we go. Here's some that are dead and they would be good for along the embankment. So maybe we can dress this area right here and have some that are dead. couple in here.
Next thing I'm gonna do is add some of these tufts by Woodland Scenics, it's grass tufts. There's a medium green. Here's one that's brown, a seeding tuft. There's a light green. And what I wanna do is just kind of add them in random spots along the base of this embankment where it's kind of growing in the ditch. So maybe we'll put one right here. Just kind of group them together. About one of the seeding tufts. It's something like that. Maybe there's some right in here. It's got the darker color. Oh, one of the lighter ones. I'm gonna add one more. Just something like that. So now it's time to finally add the water to the pond. And for this, I'm just going to go the easy way to do it. This Woodland Scenics Realistic Water, and I'm going to add this murky tint to it. And I've got an older bottle here that's got a little left over from the, uh, the Creek, Trout Creek series. So what I'll do is I'll just pour some of this new bottle into, into this one. And then I can add my, my murky tint to it. I guess I need to shake this up first. I really want to make that pond dark. And then I'll just uh, stir this around. I don't want to shake it up, but I do, I do want to stir it around. You shake it up, you're gonna put introduce bubbles. So I just stir this around and we'll see how far it goes. So here we go. And there's the pond. So I hope you've enjoyed this series on the pond build. It really has turned an otherwise boring corner into something really interesting and here's one final look at it so if you enjoyed it hope you'll give this video a like share it with others and leave a comment I read everyone so next week we'll do our update, and until then, thanks for watching, and happy model railroading, everyone. <laughs>